Meghan Markle here. Today is March 28, 2023. It is 9.34 a.m. There's a lot of tweets to share with you, but um, this is video number two. I've recorded some stuff earlier this morning, but uh, I saw some more tweets popping up and I wanted to record them and get them out of the way. I'm actually up to date with my edit with the exception of what I recorded this morning. So let's get to it. This is the first tweet. There's the laugh. I want to say something, but I will zip it for now. Okay. She retweeted this. Prince Harry only said, quote, good morning, end quote, to me as he arrived at court this morning. Associate newspaper, Prince Harry. So she retweeted that and laughing about it. All right. So 25 seconds. Let's listen to it. Nope. Harry, ITV News here. What's your message to the British press? Good morning. Good morning. Are you feeling confident today, Harry? <laughs> Harry only said good morning. Okay, I have to put screenshot. I'm sorry about this. I have to put screenshot. You've said it's your duty to exploit. Harry, you said it's your duty to expose wrongdoing by the British media. Is this what this is about? Okay, so that was yesterday. All right, it's playing again. That was yesterday um, when he was heading to court. All right, let's read some of the comments really quick. I know what I said, and it will end and off. All right, don't say it. There's this. That made her day. There's the laugh. She will sleep with a smile tonight. <laughs> There's the laugh. She's about to become another self-appointed expert on Harry. I'll say it for you. There's what the F and a lot of abbreviation. The reason we have never had a meeting to talk about insensitive clouds, ignore. All right, so let's go. Uh, I, I really want to do this really quick. I'm just going to focus on the squad. But for the sake of it, let's go into the one that she retweeted. Let's see what other people are saying. Okay, the glee, I can't. There's the laugh. So my dear, what in God's name did you really expect? Wait, nah, don't tell me. You really thought he was going to stop and chat with you? You did, didn't you? No, bye. He was more polite than you deserve. Okay, he brought a superhero energy and wax star swagger which <laughs> replace w with b okay only said <laughs> oh my god quote only said and quote lady what were you expecting afternoon tea <laughs> i'm so happy for you i know this made your day you should be thankful that you at least got that all right so <laughs> let's see who she is okay correspondent at itv okay one of the royal rats i guess in the uk so the squad or whoever they are some of them may not even be squad who's just happy that uh heavy guests his day in court and stuff like that bless your heart to answer your question he decided to finally come in and sort out his parking ticket there's the rolling eye well that was more than you deserve alexa play me you on netflix obsess obsession all right let's go to the next tweet and i think it's a video of today this morning okay i'm sorry i'm just gonna have to put some sort of a screenshot Okay, listen to the gratitude and their voices, true respect for, quote, a man of the people, and quote, not stage booze from toxic British media. Prince Harry is his mother's heir, the people's prince, just like his mom was the people's princess. 34 seconds. All right, let's listen. I'll take some screenshot for you guys. Otherwise, YouTube is going to be flagging the video. Several screenshots. Uh, 
<laughs> He's like stage right. All right, let's read some of the comment. The clicks are intense. Our prince, good king Harry, stage right. That's what he said when he walked in. They still call him sir. Okay, most of these people who claim to hate Harry for protecting his family, deep down, they respect him for it because they will do the same. All right, so that's good. No more comment on this. Let's go to the next tweet. This video should be short. I hope I don't have too much to say. There's an image. Quote, if you can get your point across without the anger, is the anger really necessary? End quote. Because Harry is handling his business while looking cool, calm, and collective. That's what makes him effective and a threat. 100%. There's the clap. I think that was this morning. When was this posted? Oh, that was yesterday. Okay. Uh, the right way. There's the thumbs up. Good King Harry. Okay, sorry Megan, but your husband is looking fine, girl. Had the alert. <laughs> Damn Harry. Damn very nice. Harry is there to protect his wife and children and make sure that the toxic British media stop their bullying. All right. So that's that. Now we're getting to a very good serious one. This is Brian Cape Cod. Uh, what did I do? Yep, I copied the thing again. All right, let's. Okay, this is the next one. This is Brian K. Cut. This one I posted on my community board. I will share the links of um, the articles. Okay. So let's read all of this and then I'll go to each of those articles. It seems to be a day to read up this article summarizing detailed research into what the male really did in the case of Stephen Lawrence. Spoiler alert. It's not what they say. Okay. So I'll go into that in a few. I did post this. I don't know. You squad is when I post certain things. Take a look at it. Even though you don't see Harry and Megan, go. Uh, well, it. Sometimes I don't. E I don't even say anything on the caption because I don't have time. I just wanna throw out the information. But it seems like when there is no pictures of Harry or Megan, you guys don't click. Remember, majority of the time, it's information I wanna share with you. I post this with his picture on it. Let's see. We're going to compare it. Let me refresh it. This is it right here on my community board. Okay, I'm refreshing it. Let's see how many people. 26 people saw it. Give me a thumbs up and to be comments. But let's look at this one here. 56 people. Give me a thumbs up. Five comments. And this one from yesterday. 119 people. 12 uh, comments. This is a very good um, article that make reference to the lady who is uh, the mother is uh, teaming up with Harry okay to boost up the case all right the trial and stuff like that so let's read I read that already one of three note that back in 1997 at the time of the famous murderers front page the male insisted that Doreen Lawrence had been wrongly persuaded you might say dope and to believing that the police were failing to investigate properly she was right the male was wrong two of three now the male is saying she has been duped into suing the male for multiple alleged breaches of her privacy her views hmm. she feels used and violated by the male and like she has been taking for a fool okay three of three i'm gonna read that okay there's this wow and this is a uh, commercial Let's go into the first one here. This is back in 1997, I believe. Okay, the link will be in the description and it's also on my community board. Okay, Murderers of Meth, Mark Ferson and the Daily Mail. As we approach the 25th anniversary of Stephen Lawrence's murder, it's time to critically assess whether the Daily Mail really played the pivotal and progressive role it likes to claim in the case and its impact on Britain race relation. Okay, so that was in 2017, November 2nd, 2017. That's by the same person who tweeted that tweet I just, I just read, Brian Cape Cod. So he wrote that. When, Davis, when David Cameron gave evidence to the Levison inquiry, he wanted to give an example of newspaper campaigning that had benefited society. With the entire modern output of the national press to pick from, he chose the Daily Mail's work on the Stephen Lawrence murder. This, he informed the judge, had been extremely important. No doubt many others will have made the same choice. Even the male's rival sometimes hold up its coverage of the infamous 1993 race murder as a high point for British journalism and as proof of the 
essential role of the press. As for the male's critics, they find the case a stumbling block. If the, no doubt many others will have made the same choice. Even the male's rival sometimes hold up its coverage of the infamous 1993 race murder as a high point for British journalism and as proof of the essential role of the press. As for the male critics, they find the case a stumbling block. If the male really play a heroic part in achieving justice for a black family that have been failed by the white establishment, it becomes harder for them to classify the paper as simply intolerant or racist. Next April will be the 25th anniversary of the murder. It will be a moment for commemoration and for reflection about race in Britain. For the male, which takes intense pride in its own involvement in the case, it will also be an opportunity to remind the public of what it, what it did. Wow. So what did it do? Most famously, in February 1997, at a moment when the police and the justice system appeared to have failed the Lawrence family, it published a front page accusing five young men of the murder and defying them to sue for libel. A stroke of editorial brilliance, this caused a sensation, raising the police of this troubling case and steering debate about trial by media. Over the years that follows, the male will return many times to the Lawrence case and front page. Oh my God, can you imagine this? It's like they're terrorizing that lady with her story and putting it over and over as uh, in their papers. Oh my God. Inside the spread and editorials, and the paper has made some bold claim about the difference it made. Several of these were drawn together in a single statement by its editorial, Paul Dacker. So that's the person uh, uh, I see in, that, uh, in one of the papers yesterday. After two men were convicted of the killing in 2012, okay, quite simply, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that if it hadn't been for the Mel headline in 1997, murderers the male accuses these men of killing and our years of campaigning none of this will have happened britain's police might not have undergone the huge internal reform that was so necessary race relation might not have taken the significant step forward that they have and an 18 year old a level student who dream of being an architect oh my god who have been denied justice Wow, he was studying to be an architect. I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. The Mail has also claimed that its reporting brought about the 1998 to 1999 McPherson inquiry into the murder and that its campaigning led to the reform of the double jeopardy rule that made possible one of the 2012 conviction dacker has also assessed that he risked jail by publishing the 1997 front page these claims have rarely been examined closely but in an article just published in a journal political quarterly i have tested them against the historical record i found that while the paper's action involved editorial brilliance and probably had positive consequences its principal claim or at best exaggerate and at worst unsupported by evidence wow even where it can be argued that the paper did help bring about changes for the better they were not the changes it actually sought one example is the assertion that the mail's reporting prompted home secretary jack straw to initiate a major inquiry as the paper put it in February 1999, that claim has been made on a number of occasions, but it is problematic and at the very least needs careful qualification. Chiefly because in the relevant months of 1997, the male never once called for a public inquiry, even when the Lawrence family demand one. So she was always on top of it. Wow. Meaning the family, the mom. The male conspicuously did not give its support and once it became clear in the early summer 1997 that there will be an inquiry, the male publicly opposed the kind of inquiry. Yeah, they're flinging the thing, pretend that they're helping, but when it comes to serious things, nah, they don't want to deal with that. 
and to the police failure that Doreen now Baroness Lawrence was arguing for and that the government of the time ultimately set up in short the paper has been claimed credit for the establishment of uh, an inquiry which the record shows it didn't seek and which took a form it actually opposed wow this is why I follow this guy Okay, of course, this is not a simple matter. While Jack Straw and his autobiography gave credit for the establishment of the inquiry above all to Baroness Lawrence, he also wrote that the male helped give him political space to make his decision. No doubt, this is correct, that a conservative paper was, I mean, everybody's taking, you know, every bit they could get. It's like a dog bone. Everybody's trying to get a piece of it. So whoever could benefit from it, they take the, uh, they take it. And meanwhile, guess who's the most, who's the victim over and over again? Uh, Baroness Lawrence. Each time they do these things, she's get, you know, they keep on reminding her of her son. Everybody's taking credit or get a piece of the action, but she's still suffering. My goodness. This is the only time I think, you know, teaming up with Harry and all the others to put a stop to this nonsense. No doubt this is correct, that a conservative paper was conspicuously involved will have made a difference, but again, the context must be considered. Straw made his decision in July 1997. It is conceivable that had he not, had he not had the space created by the mail, he might have said no, but the event of 1997 shows that six months later, no matter what the position of the Daily Mail, he will have had no choice but to order an inquiry anyway. When that December, a report by the Police Complaint Authority, PCA, revealed wholesale incompetence and worse in the original police investigation of Stephen Lawrence's murder, all argument against a public inquiry will have fallen away. In other words, and so far, as the male's involvement might have made a difference by giving Straw uh, more room to act, the difference was between the announcement of the of an inquiry in July 1997 and the same announcement five months later. Okay, it's a long one. Let me see how long it is. How much more? Oh, it looks long, but it's not. Did I lose it? No, I did not. All right, the mail claims repeated as recently as June this year during an angry spat with the Guardian that it campaigned to bring the Stephen Lawrence murderers to justice did more to improve race relation in this country than anything the Guardian has achieved. Is a claim which at best required considerable qualification, not least because throughout the whole history of the Lawrence case, the male's understanding of the role of race has been very particularly one. In its reporting, just after the murder in 1993, its principal interest was in challenging mostly black race militant whom it accused of hijacking a tragedy. But that's what they were doing themselves. It seems like they hijacked the story and then whenever they feel like to write something, they put it out there, making it seem like they're talking positive about the the, the thing to somewhat help the lady but in fact is like putting salt to injury oh my goodness okay the paper was happy to quote the lawrence when they expressed concern about you see there it is here the paper was happily to quote the lawrence when they expressed concern about militants but it conspicuously failed to quote them on the subject of racism and britain law enforcement and justice and its role and their right and their plight that's what i see too even in 1997, the male still refused to accept that the Lawrence color might have made a difference. An uh, editorial published on the same day as the famous murderer's front page declared bluntly, but suggestion made by his grief-stricken mother that that police were less than assiduous because of Stephen's color or misplaced. Wow. And in the eyes of the male, in other words, Doreen Lawrence was simply wrong to see racism in the British establishment as a factor in her family's tragedy. My goodness. My God, these people hide behind that. But for them, they could easily say they're nonsense. But when we bring it up to their face and then they're claiming it's, oh my God, these people are really vile really vile not only do they act they behave they inflict they do unto others but when people just say what is the obvious and then they oh my god they uh, they flip it on them 
my god my god my god okay why did the male get involved at all if it took that view look at the record and the answer is clear Dacre was outraged by what he called the swaggering conduct of the five suspects at the inquest which had just ended when the front page was published he was appalled that they appeared to be getting away with murder as as his own crime reporters and senior police officers told him they were his focus and uh, that of his paper was on five white thugs whom South East London and accusation about racism and the police or the justice system or and wider British society were wrong and worse were damaging distraction. It was for that reason that the male did not want a public inquiry into police failure and instead looked to the McPherson inquiry in vain to hold the five suspects to account when the inquiry report declared that the police service suffered from institutional racism and when the Tony Blair government asserted that the whole country had lessons to learn from this, the male was openly disgusted. This was, it said, a kind of political correct McCarthyism and it asked, should, this is the thing, what I'm seeing here, when when they were about to work on changing the mind of people to see what was actually happening they disrupt it i don't know if i make sense with that they disrupt the progression of things it's hard to explain but this is what i see here also while i'm editing this one of the things that i realize is that they're taking control of the narrative they got in front of it to control the narrative. They don't want to, uh, when the change was about to happen, they disrupted, which I said in my original recording. But the main reason they got involved, because they know uh, race relation will be talked about. So they jump ahead of it to uh, control the narrative. That's what it is. They make it believe like they doing something that they're making change. But once the real change is about to happen, they disrupt it again to keep it in track the way things is. That's what I think it's happening here. They just wanted to control the narrative and control uh, the uh, for things not to change pretty much. All right. So let's get back to the original recording. This was, it said, a kind of politically correct McMarthyism, and it asked, uh, should the majority in this fundamentally dissent and tolerant nation be tainted by collective guilt? The only racism the male will ever acknowledge in the case was the racism of the attackers who were heard to use the word, you know, the N-word, and conceivably of a few bad apple police officers who, it said, should be driven out of the police service against this background assertion by the male that it was instrumental and in improvement this is the thing that i was saying here improvement and race relation and also in reform of the police that flowed from the mcpherson inquiry must ring hollow yeah there was gonna be some improvement they just they stop it they saw they don't want when you look at uh, around 2020 there was is it uh, you were 2020 when uh england was hosting some sort of a huge uh, football match it was postponed due to covid several times but when they finally let it play there was a huge thing that was going on racism this guy dancing naked on the in the street and they burst into the stadium and all of that around this time and then when the football players missed the goal and all of that these kind of things this is what they want to stir people anger and uh, be angry you know this is the thing that they this is why they stopped uh, the, this thing from improving okay so i don't know if i explain myself but this is the thing that i see here there is however one significant way in which the male probably helped bring positive change the stephen lawrence affair was the first occasion when the white majority in this country come to understand and identify with the grief and anger of a black british family you see I didn't even finish with it. This is the thing. Sometimes this is why the inquiry was necessary. They wa they wanted to improve, moving forward, understand the pain that they were inflicting. But the male put a stop to it. This is it. This is. I didn't even finish with it. This is it. Yeah. Okay. To understand and identify with the grief 
and anger of a black British family. They saw past angry black faces and recognized human suffering in case of injustice. I'm telling you, this is what I got. This is exactly what I got. Those chiefly responsible for that change are the Lawrence themselves, but the male also deserves some credit. Baroness Lawrence wrote in her autobiography, and still I rise, the Daily Mail front page had helped to open the story up. In fact, the press had always been interesting, but that report was said to have touched Middle England. <laughs> the feeling... Okay, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh, uh, okay, the feeling. Where did, okay, the feelings of white people who don't normally care much what happened to black youth in inner cities. It may well be that the public inquiry will have done this anyway, with its months of shocking testimony vindicating the family's position. But it is clear that the male sensational intervention in the February night. Yeah, they interrupted. That's exactly that. Uh, male sensational intervention in February. Uh, 1997 accelerated the process and it seems like that many who will not otherwise have given consideration to the Lawrence grievance were induced to do so as a result. As I'm reading this, um, there's a video that I share with you in one of my tweets video where this guy in a church, I think it was Dr. Shola who tweeted, who retweeted that particular thing. This guy who was saying why these refugees were coming, he was really angry and all of that. And Dr. Shula put in her caption something, I'm paraphrasing, that this is happening in a church or something like that. And I was like, this guy who, who had the microphone should ask his government, what are they doing to those people back who's running away from their home? Because if they're running away, that means it's not safe. So this level of anger, this is where they want to put England, where there's division. This is the thing that I see here as well. Okay, my article and political and political quarterly look at all of this in some detail and also at the other claim made by the men. For example, I found no evidence in the historical record to support the suggestion that the male campaign in any sustained way for reform of the double jeopardy rule, nor for the suggestion that the editor of the mail risked jail when he accused the five suspects of murder. Dacre assertion that if it had not been for the mail, Stephen Lawrence would have been denied justice is particularly hard to credit since there is nothing to support it and the non narrative of the police investigation. Now, they, what they see here, they saw something where they could benefit from. Just like the politician saw something he could benefit from. So they attach themselves whenever a story popped up. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just throwing this out there based on what I just read. Okay. My humble opinion. That particular, um, how do you call this? Politician who uh, somewhat attached his, uh, not his name. I'll say sort of align himself with whatever the story with the, um, with the Lawrence family and maybe it's to get elected maybe the male put it out there to help uh, get this guy elected maybe because what i saw as i was reading is just that they keep on raising that story over and over again and then they could benefit from it but meanwhile the family the lawrence family each time the daily mail put the thing out there the lawrence family is being victimized again and again and again that's what i see here my humble opinion okay um what else oh, i thought it was short okay i'm almost done okay um even a even a general proposition that the male help bring about conviction by continuing to highlight the issue does not withstand scrutiny newspapers boast and they often exaggerate how often do we see two papers claiming the same story as an exclusive and that light the exact exaggeration of the male about the Stephen Lawrence case may be seen as normal, but where a matter is as important as this one, and where it remains important even after the passage of nearly 25 years, it is essential to test the boast against the record and try to arrive at a more accurate picture of what has happened. Okay, so I wanted to read this to get his perspective of this because I read in the video I'm supposed to edit now, where I record this morning, where uh, Daily Mail, whoever the uh, whoever the, uh, they're suing, is somewhat blaming the lady uh, 
for suing them. I mean, what are they supposed to say? But, um, you know, turning the table on her. All right. So I read this and I said, I wanted to read that as well. I may not finish all of it because I don't want to be an hour. It's already 30 minutes. The link of this will be in the description. It's pretty lefty. Let's see here. If it's getting interesting, I'll finish it. But otherwise, no. Dovin Lawrence claimed, ah, uh, did I read that? Um, in video one, um, if it, Brian, um, maybe not. Okay. Let's see. Dovin Lawrence claimed Daily Mail hired investigators to hack her phone. This is where her story is aligned with Harry. And this is why I think they're teaming up to help boost the case a little bit more. Okay, this is what I think. High Court also hears claim against Associated Newspapers bought by Prince Harry, Elton John, and Liz Hurley, among others. Okay, uh, Dorian Lawrence, uh, wh what is it she, uh, in that other article I just read? Uh, some sort of a title has changed for her. I forgot the title. Okay, Dorian Lawrence has claimed the Daily Mail hired private investigators to hack her phone and obtain information on her murdered son, potentially disrupting the police investigation into the racially motivated killing. Wow. So which means, not only that, based on conversation they probably heard. My humble opinion, okay, my humble opinion. If they hack her phone, which means whatever story they probably wrote on the paper it's probably something they heard they feel like they could make a some sort of a story out of it oh my god these people are evil if this is true though okay Dovin, okay i will potentially disrupt the police investigation into the racially motivated killing okay lady lawrence the, i think that was that lady lawrence now believe she quote fell her murdered son and quote by trusting the daily mail during the night uh, during the 1990s claiming the news outlet only campaigned for justice on behalf of stephen lawrence and a cynical bid to sell more newspaper yeah that's exactly that and i also see the similarities with uh, megan thing i see the similarity where they intercept her letter and then you know the non-stop stories that were happening wow i see the similarities i could see why uh, they're teaming up with harry and the others the allegation was set out in detailed document released during an extraordinary hearing at the high court lawrence the duke of sussex and elton john all turn up to hear legal argument and the cases they have brought against associated newspapers the owner of the daily mail the mail on sunday and mail online along with actors sadie Frost and liz hurley and the former liberal democrat politician sir simon Hughes, they accuse the title of uh, making widespread use of illegal reporting tactic to obtain stories over more than 20 years at monday's preliminary hearing in central london lawyers for associated newspaper attempted to stop the claim from going to trial i mean that's what they're supposed to do where the allegation will be heard in full at the end of proceeding prince harry who had sat at the back of the court making notes heading straight to warmly greet lawrence engaging the labor peer and conversation and chatting as they headed out of the courtroom together until now the daily mail has uh, largely escaped the phone hacking allegation that led to the closure of the news of the world but the newspapers now faces a major challenge that could result in serious reputational damage my goodness the allegation relate to a period when the daily mail was edited by paul dacker who remains a senior executive at associated newspapers has been nominated for a peerage and boris johnson resignation honors mm -mm -mm as i'm reading this i'm thinking it's the same thing they close one okay they close one business they just change the name and then open another one with uh, another name but remain the same that's the, the, the uh, that's what I, i'm thinking as i read that the mail has dismissed all the claims as quote preposterous smear and uh, is trying to stop the case going to trial on multiple grounds the newspapers ran along a campaign to identify the racist killers of Stephen Lawrence, culminating in a front page story accusing five individuals of murder. The paper often held up the story as an example of newspapers' commitment to fight for justice on behalf of those who lack a voice. Recent calling its campaign a, quote, key moment in British race relation history. 
okay this is why uh brian cape caught bought in his uh, i believe 2017 article that i just read okay because it's making sense here they're listening to her message in my humble opinion and then they're making a story based on what uh, they heard over the phone to somewhat make it seems like they're helping her or something like that Lawrence says she now believed the campaign on behalf of her son was a cynical way to sell newspapers by appearing to be on the side of a young man killed in a racist attack same story with Megan the only thing we already know which side they were on when they bashing Harry and Megan but the thing is that they didn't expect Megan to sue them back okay they thought you know because she's a warrior uh in my humble opinion they will not uh the palace will not let her sue because she did say that uh the palace lawyer keep on giving her the wrong the run around until she decided to get her own lawyer okay and documents filed to court her lawyer said lawrence quote cannot think of any act or conduct lower than stealing and exploiting information from a mother who bury her son for this reason yeah like i said okay they keep each stories they keep on putting out probably something they heard her say over the phone if they did act uh hack her phone allegedly right now they, they're not guilty of that so allegedly so they make a story out of it and then each time they put a story out of it out there they stay somewhat in borderline to make it seem like they're helping her but at the same time is to steal stuff okay to make people get people emotion out of there okay get people very emotion uh, emotional about the story okay she feel used and violated like she has been taking for a fool rather than campaigning due to a genuine desire to get justice for stephen she quote now sees that the daily mail true interests were about self-promotion and using her and her son's murder as a means to generate exclusive headline sell newspapers and to profit end quote she wonders whether trusting the daily mail as she did cause her to have to have delay or have failed her murder son the document said quote she asked herself whether more individual could have been arrested whether earlier investigation might have been more successful and whether she will have got justice the document said Lawrence now quote feels a deep sense of betrayal she find it hard to believe the level of duplicity and manipulation that was clearly at play knowing now as she does that the daily mail outward support for her fight to bring stephen killers to justice was hollow and worse entirely false yeah among other claim she alleged the daily mail uh, instructed private investigators to conduct illegal interception of her voicemail messages tap her landline telephone there's the thing the same thing they did to uh, megan get her social security her phone numbers her, some very sensitive information why i'm saying that because the person who they hired to do that spoke about it i don't have uh, his um, information but it's probably in one of my videos on pure yte okay black personal record monitor her bank account and phone bills conduct covert electronic surveillance and make corrupt payment to serving metropolitan police officers working on her son's murder investigation and in return for confidential information oh my god she said that uh, to this day, the male continued to engage in manipulation and pretense of being on her side. Yeah, I mean, th yes, whenever they feel like they, ha they have an idea for a story, they start doing that. The Daily Mail strongly denied the allegation and said that uh, they believe Lawrence has been persuaded to bring this case. Lawyers for associate newspapers are seeking to stop the case's progressing to court while also restricting the ability of the rest of the media to report on the allegation <laughs> i think i did read that i remember this part okay now that it has to do with them they don't want people to report on it but if it was the other way around hey they'll have a field day my goodness the same way they wanted to have a field day with megan's uh, case lawsuit and all there are seven claims against associated newspapers in the court document prince harry said he had been targeted for information about his private relationship and alleged the unlawful activity used to obtain these stories meant quote he was largely deprived of important aspect of his teenage years oh my god this is sad it, when you think about it he was largely deprived 
of important aspect of his teenage years. I'm thinking those uh, people, you know, the friends that he had, the girlfriends who ran away. I mean, they make him stronger. This is like turning a uh, uh, lemon to lemonade. That's what I see here. He probably did have feeling for these young ladies, but they push them away. They don't want to deal with that, but they make him stronger. That's what this thing made. They made him stronger. Without that, there won't be Megan. So this is why he was able to be strong enough to be able to meet Megan because Megan is a strong woman. I don't think Megan would want a, any uh, junkie, no matter how much of a social class you are. But this makes him stronger though. This is turning a lemon to lemonade. That's what I see here. Okay, he said, friends were lost or cut off. There it is. Or cut off as a result and everyone became suspect, arguing that the stories were written in a manner that led him to believe those close to him were the source of the information being provided to the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday. Yeah, they were listening to his message. So, Whenever he spoke to somebody about something and then if the Daily Mail heard something about it and they write about it and then he will suspect the person he was talking to were the one who was selling his stories when in fact they probably didn't. It's just the third person who was listening which both then know. Oh my God, this is sad. Elton Jen and his husband David Furnish alleged the landline telephone at their home was illegally tapped by investigators working for the, the male parent company on Monday. Associated successfully invoked the Human Rights Act to stop, to stop other media outlet identify 73 of its journalists who are named in the court proceeding. 73! Wow! 73! And they don't want people to know who they are. I mean, we have pretty good ideas, some of them. Wow. It's lawyers said publishing the names will breach the journalist's right to a fair trial under the Human Rights Act. Now they want to use that. But they don't want to, uh, when people trying to use the Human, human Rights Act for their defense, nah, pe other people should not have it, only them. Okay? I mean, at this stage, I could understand. Now, if this goes to trial, Eh, they, should, they better release those names. David Sherborne, representing Harry and other claimants at the High Court, noted it was surprising to see a newspaper that has campaigned for press freedom object to the publication of the name. Quote, they said different rules applied to their journalists suspected of wrongdoing as opposed to other suspects of wrongdoing. End quote. Associated newspaper is attempting to stop the cases going to trial on two separate grounds. First, it alleged that the claims are stale because the seven individuals waited too long to file their legal paperwork essentially arguing that the individuals must have had reasonable suspicion that they were potential victim more than six years ago. My goodness. And then the worst thing is they keep at it. It might be a different form, but they keep at it. My goodness. Second, its lawyers claim that a uh, key part of the evidence come from confidential materials submitted to the 2011 Levison inquiry and to the culture of the British media. They said this was then obtained by an unknown individual from the inquiry's internal system, breaching the term on which the information was provided. While most of the claims that British court have dealt with the Sun, newspapers of the world, the mirror focus on uh, voicemail interception, also known as phone hacking. The allegation, again, the male group go much further and rely on, suppo on supposed work of private investigators. Among the allegations against the male's parent company are that individuals working for its newspaper illegally intercepted voicemail messages listened into live landline calls, obtained medical records by deception or blagging, and even commissioned the breaking and entry wow, breaking and entry into private property. An uh, associate newspaper spokesperson said a private investigator whose confession I think that's the one that I have. Private investigator whose confessions form Associate newspaper spokesperson said a private investigator whose confession form a key element of the case has since provided a sworn statement that he was not commissioned to instructed to carry out any illegal work for either male title. 
Uh, they added that while the male admiration for Baroness Lawrence remained undimmed, well, we are profound certain that she has been persuaded to bring this case. The male remained hugely proud of its pivotal role in campaigning for justice for Stephen Lawrence, its famous murderers. Front page triggered the McPherson report. The spokesperson said associate newspapers which on the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday vigorously deny all the claim against it. Okay, so the person who gave the sworn statement, okay, regarding the phone hacking, I mean, this is one of the unspoken words, okay, unspoken words that they usually have with people. But anyway, they didn't say, I don't want to uh, say whatever, allegedly. All right, there's this. All right, let's go to the next tweet. I need to call somebody. This is what happened when I record during the day. Next tweet. Boy, oh, that. And I have two more after that. I cannot believe this. After all the polls that shows the Sussex's negative popularity, Bowles of all people is suggesting that Heavy and Meghan will provide a coronation boost for Charles III. Are you confused by this 180? I am. Uh, I mean, this is the tabloid, so I don't know. Don't take it from, for face value. Royal expert explain how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle can boost King Charles' image at the coronation. I mean, it's a known fact. I mean, what did they expect? All this nonsense the other royals, the left behind royals have been doing since Harry and Meghan left. I, people want to see Harry and Meghan. All right. Royal commentator and author Tom Bauer believe that King Charles will get a quote image boost if his youngest son and daughter-in-law are at the ceremony but there's also a risk if they attend <laughs> oh my god it's like a double sword speaking to the son bow explained quote exploiting their popularity at the coronation will boost charles status i mean that's all they've been doing this is why they want it exploiting their popularity however he cautioned that megan and harry's present could backfire on the monarch as well mm, whatever Let's see some of this. I never forget what they did to Meghan Markle. Oh, the, I forgot this part. Salty Island remained salty AF. I never forget what they did to Meghan Markle. Okay, don't believe anything coming out of the media and Great Britain. Okay, normally no, but the desperation to get them to attend coupled with the poll that shows only 20% of the public is likely to watch, participate in the con a nation, tell a tell, and it's not pretty. All right, let's read what's there and then go to the next one. If they are at risk for Charlie the hat lover, they should stay at home. He, Charlie, has his concubine to give him a boost. No need for Harry and Meghan. Globally, it will and even somewhat in the UK. Their poll mean nothing. They tend to target the people that support their lives. Not many cares about the coronation or the British royal family. But if Harry and Meghan goes, it will generate attention. They know this, which is why they want them there. Yep, they've been saying for months that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are irrelevant and unpopular. That's the thinking face. They also even tell us how popular the others are, even in America. That's the laugh. So how will two so-called irrelevant and unpopular people boost the image of the already popular man? <laughs> it's like some crazy uh, mathematician going on there. Uh, it just goes to show that they have always used Prince Harry's popularity to their benefit. Yep. Yep. Uh, they're not going. Oh, we shall see. Okay. In other words, we want to use the Sussex global rich because the British royal family has none. From bow of all people. Yep. So now Harry and Meghan have been moved to uh, rating boosting list for condemnation attendee. If they attend uh, the shiny hat party, the only hat party I pray Harry and Meghan att attend is Prince Archie's fourth birthday with a group of three and four year olds and Lily uh, bits white. Why is it bit right in the middle? Uh, why they should not be used to boost Charles' image at convenient moment, though, while while they alienate them and their kids. Was this recent? All uh, right. The the thing is, that's all they're good at. The royal family, they like to use people, use, and then discard. Look at it. All this time with the security and all of this. Why this? And then he's still inflicting pain taking five more and all of that now looking at uh, harry going to the court and i think it was a good thing take the five more away from him that way harry find his butt someplace else he doesn't have to be in the at the vicinity of the royal family be somewhere far away from them when he comes in the uk nobody needs to know 
Wow, who would have thunk it possible? All right, British media and press, there's this. They want Harry and Meghan to come to make it more interesting for Harry and Meghan's popularity, yes, but more for everyone to watch them snub Harry and Meghan because people will watch that to see what happens. Yeah, that's exactly that. They're going to pick up exactly where, it, where they left off after, uh, you know, during the Queen's uh, funeral. They are confused now. There is leakage for the Royal Derangers to work with. They have been making up stories this past month. Okay, after the press turned out for the phone hacking trial, the British royal family knows they need Prince Harry to show up at the coronation. All right, next tweet. Oh my God, I'm almost an hour. Okay, there's this, my love. Was I supposed to share my itinerary? <laughs> Those squad may think fun. Okay, oh Nana, I've missed you. Where have you been? And the answer is no, my love. Okay, check your DM. All right what is that that's commercial there's this all right the squad just making fun and they responding and emojis all right let's go to the next one okay british media we're gonna quietly have this pre-trial hearing about our phone hacking crime Shh. okay prince harry duke of sussex this is <laughs> there's a quick music to it okay i, I, I don't want to play it all <laughs> so i don't get flagged so true also prince harry the duke of sussex <laughs> I did listen to that. Cause fuck them, that's why. <laughs> okay, that's how good King Harry can touch this. There's that. Okay, so that's it. Um, should we throw a prayer? This is the prayer that I did this morning. Prayer for when? Let's do prayer for a protection. Okay. Um, and uh, let the blind see. Let's add that. Let's pick okay let's do this one one minute protection prayer the light of god surround us the love of god enfold us the power of god protect us the presence of god watch over us the mind of god guide us the law of god directs us wherever we are our lord god will be our strength and comfort amen okay i'm gonna stop now because i need to get going please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you that's it It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back.
all in this together. And if I may speak personally, we are all in this together. Because asking for help was one of the best decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.